I moved up to Paso Robles 20 years ago. Uh, I began making wine 10 years ago and about now six or seven years ago, Doug and I began the Garage Juice Festivals. Well, I was actually learning about the wine business. I was transitioning out of my old career and I was learning about the wine business and I was reading an article on Robert Parker and he was over in the Bordeaux and he was drinking with someone in the chateau and they said, where are you going next? And he said, well, I'm going off to this ex-winery. And they said, well, you don't want to go taste with them. They're garagiste, you know, they're not of the chateau. So I found that word extremely interesting. So I looked it up and it was used initially in France as a derogatory term somewhat derogatory term for those outsiders who are making wine in their garage, so to speak. Uh, I befriended Doug and Doug and I thought about what that would imply in terms of some of the people we knew who were making wine, who were not of the big wineries, they were small, um, they were finding it hard to access an audience and so on. And initially I was thinking about a web portal uh, a virtual way of giving these guys and girls uh, access to a large audience and it was Doug who suggested we have a festival because and I completely agree with him now uh, seven years down the line uh, that would give people the visceral experience of tasting wine and meeting these winemakers and necessarily connecting with them at their very infant's grassroots, grassroots level uh, so we put together the first festival uh, some seven years ago and it was a huge success and we started with initially one for our region, Paso Robles, where I was, where I am, I have a ranch now, have had for a long time and where we knew various people who were like-minded uh, and then we've progressed now where we have basically four festivals a year. Uh, we do one in Solvang, uh, San, uh, Solvang San Inez, Santa Barbara area. Uh, for those wineries down there, we do that early in the spring. Then we go to uh, what's now become Sonoma. We do one in Sonoma. They've been wanting us to, we do our inaugural Sonoma one this year. They've been wanting us to come up there for a long time. Uh, and we did, and it was really well received, huge success. And now, uh, and then we do this one, which is urban exposure. So all of these, we have southern exposure, we have northern exposure. This is urban exposure where we ask any winemaker who wants to come to the city, as in LA, to pour at this event. So from here you've got a combination of all the other three festivals. And then there's our flagship one, our original, uh, which is up in Paso. And that's probably our biggest, it goes over a few days. And we've expanded that over the years that we've done it and it's become bigger each year. And necessarily what we've done over the course of this is we've carved out a niche for these winemakers and necessarily a marketing mechanism for them to get in front of people who enjoy wine.